Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jane Watson, Product Marketing Manager for Area One Security. Sandbox technology is a favorite tool for security researchers. It allows them to analyze files and detect malware. But does it mean it's an effective technology to stop phishing attacks without slowing down business productivity? Phishing attacks cause about 95% of cybersecurity-related data breaches and financial loss. Often, these attacks start with an email file attachment that's hiding malware, or in some cases, a malicious link that downloads malware. In either case, the unsuspecting victim opens the file attachment or clicks the malicious link and unknowingly downloads malicious code to their system or device. The consequences are often severe, giving hackers the entry they need to crash systems, steal data, or infect an organization's network infrastructure and backend system. Today's webinar will focus on sandboxes, how sandboxes work to detect fish, the techniques hackers use to bypass sandbox threat detection, and finally, an alternative way to better detect and protect from fish. Let's start by looking at how sandboxes work in the ideal case. The diagram on this slide shows a simplified view of a network. The email and files to the left are on their way to the end user on the right. The box in the middle represents legacy security infrastructure, typically firewalls, email security gateways, and web proxies deployed to protect from threats. Because legacy security technologies often miss malicious code hidden in files, over the past few years, many security teams have added sandbox technology to their legacy security infrastructure to better detect hidden malware. With sandbox technology, incoming files are executed in the sandbox environment and their behavior is analyzed to judge whether or not they're malicious. If a file is judged to be malicious, ideally it's blocked or quarantined, but in some cases, the file is delivered to the end user before the file verdict is known. With most sandbox solutions, if a file is judged to be malicious, the security team is alerted and a report is generated that details the malicious behavior of the file. The report includes information such as how the malware uh, interacts with the sandbox host system and how it attempts to communicate with other devices or websites. The threat information in the report is useful for the security team to track down and remove the malicious files if they were delivered. Clean affected systems and also update legacy security infrastructure such as firewalls, web proxies, and security mail gateways with threat intelligence to protect the organization from follow-on attacks. This sounds great. The phishing attack is detected, the security team notified, they're now armed to respond and clean up the damage and prevent follow-on attacks. Unfortunately, hackers are aware that many organizations fortify their security infrastructure with sandbox technology. So they figured out ways to get around sandbox detection. First on the list is sandbox aware malware. To evade detection, hackers design their malware to check whether a file is in a sandbox or if it's in the target host environment. If the malware senses that it's in a sandbox environment, it quickly terminates. In some cases, more sophisticated malware even runs phony benign operations to fool the sandbox, which then fails to detect malicious behavior and judges the file to be harmless. So the file is delivered to the victim. Another trick is delayed malware execution. Hackers recognize that businesses are time sensitive. That means sandboxes have limited time to analyze files and render a verdict before delivering a file to its recipient. But hackers can intentionally design their malware to delay execution of malicious behavior or to trigger execution only after an event such as a system reboot. In that case, the sandbox analysis environment may not detect or identify the code as malicious. Again, the sandbox technology judges the file to be benign and delivers it to the end user. Next is hiding malicious code in password protected attachments or embedded, embedding malicious links in email attachments. In this case, hackers hide malicious code in password protected file attachments. They then send a password in the body of an email out of reach of the automated sandbox. Most automated sandbox technologies can't extract the pa password from the email and so can't open the file for analysis. 
Once more, the sandbox may judge the file not to be malicious and delivers it to the intended recipient. Sandboxes also don't always analyze links in file attachments. For example, the screenshot on this slide is for a Credential Harvest web page. The URL for the page was embedded in an email attachment. Most sandbox technologies wouldn't detect this attachment as malicious. Another trick is hiding malicious code in obscure file types, large files, or targeting malware for mobile and other operating environments. Because sandbox technologies and cloud sandbox services often have limitations on file types they can execute, or file sizes or operating environments that they support, and in some cases even limit the number of files they'll analyze per hour, hackers can craft files with hidden malware that sandboxes won't detect. Another trick to evade sandbox detection is sending malicious files in encrypted traffic. More than 50% of internet traffic travels encrypted these days. But unfortunately, most organizations don't decrypt incoming traffic. That means files transmitted in encrypted traffic are invisible to the security infrastructure. Therefore, these files can bypass inspection by sandbox technology, and again, the file will likely be delivered to the end user. Another issue for sandbox technologies is delayed file delivery times. File analysis can take from 30 seconds to 10 plus minutes. If sandbox technology holds files for delivery until it determines a judgment, both harmless and malicious files delivery will be delayed. These delays cause loss of end user productivity and often result in executive and employee dissatisfaction. So in some cases, to protect from productivity loss, Files are delivered before the sandbox has finished analyzing a copy of the file, before judgment is available. If a file turns out to be malicious, the damage is done and the time and expense of remediation can balloon enormously. Another issue for sandboxes <clears throat> detecting fish is that not all phishing attacks involve malware hidden in files. For example, credential harvesting attacks often start with targeted phishing emails that pretend to be from a trusted organization, such as LinkedIn in the example here, and request the victim to log into their account or change their password. In this case, the login page is a spoof site. The victim enters credentials and the attacker then harvests the credentials and uses them to log into the victim's actual account. With a credential harvesting attack, there's no malicious file involved so there's no file for the sandbox to analyze, and therefore the fish won't be detected. A similar case is a business email compromise threat. These threats are targeted phishing campaigns that rely on impersonation to trick victims into providing confidential information or transferring funds to the hacker. This slide shows a recent example of a fish sent to an Area 1 employee that looks like it's from our CEO but it's actually from an imposter. Again, in this case, there's no file download, so a sandbox can't detect this fish. Okay, so if sandbox technology isn't effective, how can organizations better defend from phishing attacks? Well, we can take a lesson from history. Key to protecting Britain from enemy aircraft and bombs in World War II was the use of a new technology called radar. Radar, deployed along the coast of England, shown in the image on this slide as white and red circles, allows the Royal Air Force to detect enemy aircraft during the earliest phases of an attack while enemy airplanes were flying over France. This early insight gave RAF commanders time to deploy defenses effectively to intercept bombing raids. So what we see here is that radar gave the RAF the early visibility necessary to defeat their enemy. At Area 1 Security, we believe that the key to effective cybersecurity also starts with early visibility. Just as radar gave the RAF early visibility to incoming bombers so that they could intercept them and minimize harm, Area 1's technology crawls the web, 
continuously and proactively discovering phishing campaigns and infrastructure before cyber attacks launch. On average, Area 1 security detects malicious sites and payloads a full 25 days before other industry threat intelligence sources such as VirusTotal. Because we proactively hunt for new phishing infrastructure as it's set up, we have early visibility into phishing sites, payloads, malware, and compromised servers before phishing campaigns launch. The resulting early insight and threat information powers Area 1 Security's Horizon Anti-Phishing Service so we can detect and block phishing threats that legacy security technologies, including sandboxes, miss. The Area 1 Horizon Service is easy to deploy as an added layer of protection with your existing email, web, and network security infrastructure. For email phish protection, when added behind a legacy security mail gateway, the service detects phishing email and tags detections with an X header. The downstream mail server then takes policy action, whether to drop, quarantine, or deliver the email based on the X header value. The service can also be deployed in front of cloud email services such as Office 365 and Google G Suite to protect from targeted phishing attacks that the cloud office security technologies frequently miss. To protect from malicious downloads from phishing sites, the service also includes a cloud-based DNS that integrates with your DNS server to block access to phishing URLs and domains. And to protect from phish callbacks and access to phishing sites, the service also easily integrates with edge security devices. The service can automatically update rule sets on firewalls and web proxies with early visibility to phishing sites so that the edge devices can detect and block phish that they would otherwise miss. At Area 1 Security, we believe in delivering cybersecurity that works. And if it doesn't work, you shouldn't have to pay for it. We offer a new model of cybersecurity, the first and only performance-based protection in the industry. With a 99.997% phishing catch rate and 25-plus day average time advantage to detect phishing infrastructure compared to competing solutions, we're confident we can deliver the most effective protection you can buy or you don't pay anything. With our pay for fish program, you pay only if fish is detected. There's no upfront cost or time commitment. We also offer annual subscriptions, and you have the option to choose the paper fish model and then convert to an annual subscription at any time. Area One is actively protecting many organizations from targeted phishing attacks. One such customer, a global consumer product company with 35,000 employees worldwide, had deployed best of breed email, web, and network defenses, but still experienced routine occurrences of targeted phishing attacks penetrating their defenses. After deploying Area 1, the instance of phishing email evading detection was significantly reduced. Over a one-year period, Area 1 has detected and blocked over 2 million malicious emails that the legacy email security protections missed. We also blocked web access and network callbacks to over 180,000 phishing URLs, domains, and sites. Thanks for joining today's webinar. If you're concerned about phishing attacks evading your existing security defenses, Area 1 Security can help close the gap by adding a layer of defense that provides early visibility into phishing sites before they go live and prevents phish from breaching end users. The Area 1 Horizon Anti-Phishing Service deploys easily with legacy security technologies and cloud office suites and detects and protects you effectively from email, web, and network phishing attacks that other defenses miss. For more information or demo, please visit our website at area1security.com forward slash demo. And thanks for listening and have a great day.